I'm stopping here. This is the best thing the kingdom's done since they've been a group. <laughs> well, th this is a classic Adam Cole trope. It's something that if you've been following his career long enough, he did it in NXT. He did it way back in Ring of Honor. And it, it, it's, it always works. It, it's always awesome because they don't typically overuse it. Right. And hopefully they don't. Although I guess the, the kingdom kind of works if they continue that metaphor out with more yeah. story storybooks. And fairy tales, but I guess if you don't, if you want to keep it special, like you said, James, maybe don't overuse it too much. Yeah, no, absolutely. But uh, good, good stuff. Good. Cole is great. Cole yeah. is great. I do understand people getting a little tired of Cole from time to time because he is essentially the same character he's been for the last decade. And I like that character. It's a great character. Quite frankly, it's a championship character, but it's also the same character for the last decade if you've been a fan of his. There yeah. hasn't really been much change. I think the best change that we've seen from him when he was actually best buddies with MJF. Agreed. Yeah. Also, but, Matt, God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I muted myself, you know? No, I appreciate that, but I saw you, and I just want to get uh, get that for you. Yeah. Uh, let's head into that actual match, which obviously saw Samoa Joe versus Wardlow for the AEW World Championship. I will skip to the end here, where after he faked a knee injury – Warlow was able to use that distraction from the referee to gouge Joe's eyes. And then he hit the drop knee strike in the corner. And Joe was able to kick out of that. And that is the first time anyone has been able to kick out of that drop knee. Uh, Joe then dodged a Senton Atomico and went for the punches in the corner, uh, you know, up on the second rope. But Warlow was able to power him up and hit a power bomb. 